Have you ever built something cool with wood? Those boards started as giant logs. Want to see how these mesmerizing ballet of industrial giants transform into logs and then into the foundation of countless homes and structures? Watch this aerial journey through a sawmill and see how logs become lumber. Before going further, click that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified of our upcoming videos. Let's start with the first step, the arrival, debarking and log yard. A constant stream of colossal log trucks arrives, their beds overflowing with giants of the forest. These fallen trees, chosen for their size and quality, are then deposited in the log yard, a vast open area resembling a sleeping forest of giants. Here, a tireless workhorse called a log stacker, resembling a giant claw on wheels, sorts and stacks the logs according to their species, diameter and intended use. Next, a machine named the Debarkey takes center stage. Picture a massive metal drum studded with ferocious teeth. The drum spins rapidly, scraping and tearing away the bark, leaving behind the smooth, light-colored wood beneath. Debarking is crucial, as bark not only adds unnecessary weight, but can also harbor pests and hinder the drying process later. The transformation, the breakdown begins. With their bark removed, the logs are now ready to be transformed into lumber. We saw closer, witnessing a colossal machine known as the infeed conveyor. This is the stage manager who selects logs from the sorted piles and feeds them onto a series of heavy-duty chains. These chains act as a conveyor belt, steadily guiding the logs towards their next destination, the breakdown process. We witness a bandsaw, a metal band with razor-sharp teeth whirling at breakneck speed. As a log reaches the saw, a skilled operator positions it with laser focus. With extremely loud noise, the bandsaw plunges into the wood, effortlessly slicing through the log like a hot knife through butter. But this isn't just a single cut. Depending on the desired final product size and purpose, the log may be passed through the bandsaw multiple times, each time transforming it further, refining the cut, the edger and trimmer. Now imagine a long, flat metal table with a series of smaller, circular saws positioned strategically along its edges. This is the edger and its job is crucial. After the initial breakdown by the bandsaw, the lumber may still have uneven edges or unwanted slabs attached. The edger precisely removes these imperfections, ensuring the lumber emerges with straight, clean edges. Our journey continues as the lumber progresses along the conveyor belt. Next up is the trimmer, a seemingly simple yet vital piece of machinery. Picture a series of rapidly moving saws positioned at precise intervals across the conveyor. As the lumber reaches the trimmer, these saws, triggered by automated sensors, cut off any uneven ends, ensuring each piece reaches its final length specification. That's one more incredible step in which we'll dry the lumber. The drying process. The lumber dries out. With its dimensions finalized, the lumber is no longer just raw logs but rough-cut lumber. However, it still contains a significant amount of moisture. To prevent warping and cracking and ensure long-term stability, the lumber must be dried. We now see colossal structures resembling giant ovens, the kilns. Here there are two main types of kilns, conventional and vacuum. Conventional kilns use a combination of heat and airflow to gradually remove moisture from the lumber. The lumber is stacked on carts and rolled into these ovens, where carefully controlled temperatures and air circulation gently dry the wood. Vacuum kilns operate on a similar principle, but with a crucial difference. They utilize a vacuum to create a lower pressure environment. This allows for faster drying times and can be particularly beneficial for certain types of wood. The final touches, planning and grading. The lumber has now emerged from the kilns, its moisture content significantly reduced. However, its surface may still be rough and uneven. Here the planner takes center stage. Imagine a powerful machine with a series of rotating blades. As the lumber passes through the planer, these blades shave off thin layers of wood, smoothing the surface and achieving the desired final thickness. The final touches continued, sorting, stacking and shipping. 
Having emerged from the planer, the precisely cut and smooth lumber embarks on the final leg of its journey. Here, a ballet of automated machinery takes over, ensuring efficient sorting, stacking and preparation for shipment. The Sorting System As lumber exits the planer, a sophisticated sorting system using a combination of lasers and scanners meticulously analyzes each piece. Based on its dimensions, grade and intended use, the system directs the lumber onto the appropriate conveyor belt. This intricate movement ensures that each piece finds its rightful place destined for specific applications. The Stacking Spectacle Reaching their designated zones, the lumber encounters another marvel of sawmill automation, the stacker. This robotic machine utilizes telescoping arms and grippers to precisely pick up individual pieces and stack them according to size, grade and customer order. These perfectly formed stacks resemble wooden skyscrapers, a testament to the efficiency and precision of the sawmill operation. The Shipping Step Our aerial view zooms out, revealing a bustling scene as lumber is readied for its final destination onto waiting trucks and rail cars. These lumber-laden giants become the final step of the journey, delivering the transformed logs to lumber yards, construction sites and ultimately into the hands of builders and creators across the globe. That's all about today's video. I hope you like it. If you want to watch more videos like this, comment below. And please like and subscribe to our channel and share with your family and friends. Stay tuned till next time.